Hello guys, I love you all, you are so amazing. So we're going to do a little oracle card reading today on spiritual guidance around us and within the present right now. So as I'm shuffling these beautiful, beautiful cards here, I'm going to ask you to be focusing on what guidance you need at the moment. To, you know, focus on what is it that you need to be in you need advice on or guidance on and we're just shuffling these oracle cards and if you're new here i'll just explain quickly why it is that we do um i do three cards and i want you to pick either number one two or three and whatever card i am um, is relevant to that number is is um the card that's going to be giving you the guidance today don't be changing it halfway through so if you pick one, then stay with one. If you pick three, then stay with three. So you should have in your mind right now why it is exactly that you're wanting this um, advice on. So let's go for number one. Here we go. Might help if I do it the right way around. Okay, so here you are, number one. Here's your card. Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seed in the light, laying the foundations, and divine plan. Okay, so this card is talking about that at the moment, that there are situations around you where the seeds are just being planted. I want to say that you're receiving ideas of the things that you're wanting to do, and it's talking about the need to be laying them foundations up around us right now. It's saying, with it giving the grandmother maternal kind of vibe, it's saying that things are going to be running smoothly. She has got a big image of the planet Earth there around her, and it's basically saying that the world is in your hands and the world is your oyster. And as it's got, um, as it's got, um, talking about, oh, sugar, nearly throwing everything everywhere, um, planting the seeds, it's also talking about the the divine plan so it's talking about where right now what's going on right now with you where you're planting these seeds that it is meant to be okay we've got all this green in this card talking about new knowledge new knowledge coming in but again we've got all this pink and all this love here okay and it's talking about where spirit are coming around you bringing all this love and you can see just at the side over her shoulder on the left is a sphinx as well. And as I connect into that, it's talking about ancient wisdom. That your spirit guides are coming around you now. And they're using you like a conduit to help you feel within the knowing. You're going to be knowing what's coming up next. Don't be doubting yourself because as, as, it, as it comes through, then foundations are going to be growing stronger and stronger and stronger. Okay, they're showing me a castle as well. I feel like some of you were questioning about... Um, moving home they're talking about moving home but also the, we've got these beautiful flowers here at the bottom okay on each side and they're bringing all the pinks in there um, and talking about things that are beginning to blossom him up okay we're going to be going to card number two right now let's see what you get card number two Minute it starts being blurry there. Okay. So you've got align your life. What is not aligned right now or needs to change? Because as you can see, she looks bro broken there mentally and emotionally. Okay. And this might not be you. You might not be feeling mentally or broken emotionally. But they're talking about where the situations around you that are just not right for us. Things are not going on the path that they need to be right now. And things are sometimes feeling shattered and it's feeling like I'm feeling overwhelmed. Okay. And it's talking about where these people around us who are giving us all that advice that we should be doing things in a certain way. But we're, we've not been in touch with ourselves. So it's talking about right now there's a need to be in touch with you. Being, listening to the inner voice and the deeper intuition as well. Okay. Realising what is not working for us. What's not aligned and changing that okay so with all the broken glass there they're talking about injury injury to the mental state in the mind okay so as soon as we come away from that things will start becoming more aligned for us 
and and the vibrations will again and the foundations will start setting in stone for you number two okay so it's like i'm wearing a mask as well so if it stops being blurry okay so it's like i'm wearing a mask as well and i'm showing people that i'm happy and i'm okay but actually i've been i've been having the world on my shoulders a little bit there okay and they're, they're talking that there's a need to be communicating a need to be speaking to people about this and opening up because that, as the saying goes a problem shared is a problem halved okay so stop carrying the weight on your shoulders and stop carrying other people's weight as well you've got to be good to you you are the most important in your world is yourself okay so you need to make sure that you're okay Okay, guys, we're going to be going on to number three right now. Right, I know it's back to front, but that's a big clear no right now. It says wait, postpone, pause, say no. Right now, whatever it is that you're asking about, the answer is no. Not right now. Just take a chill pill and hold off. You need to be just sitting back there and it's talking about where there's a storm playing out. I don't know if this is, um, I feel obviously it's metaphorically, but they're saying that there's a storm playing out. And I'm not saying it's necessarily something that's aimed at you, but they're talking about where you're, you, there's a possibility that you could be brought into a situation and that's not what we want at all. So they're talking about just waiting and holding off there. And then like focusing, focusing on what we do actually need, okay? I feel like with this card, or a lot of you number threes, is that you, you like to help everybody and you like to say yes, be a yes person and, you know, help people, them people around you. But again, it's saying not right now. Right now, we need to be saying no. Postpone whatever it is, right? Because there's going to be situations coming into your life that are a bit more important to your personal journey, okay? Pause, say no. Anyway, I'm going to go guys. Thank you for watching this little video. If you're new here, then please subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, then please give me a thumbs up. And thank you for joining me and we'll see you all again soon.